Staying on the topic of staying healthy through these unprecedented times, I like to bring in one of the most well-known trainers in the NFL. His resume speaks for itself, 23 years in the NFL, 14 years with the Vikings. He is the current Vikings certified head athletic trainer and Vikings VP of sports medicine, Eric Sugarman. How's it going, Eric? It's going great. Thanks for the welcome. I appreciate it. No problem. Been with the Vikings for a while now, and this situation has been uh, unprecedented, to say the least, like I said before. But for you, have you ever dealt with a situation of this magnitude? Well, you know, no. I, obviously, this is uh, this is something that none of us have seen uh, in our lifetime, uh, never planned for or expected to live through a, a pandemic. And, uh, you know, it's been very unique. It's been very challenging. And, uh, you know, we're taking it one day at a time and, and, and we're going to get through it. How has this, you know, quarantine isolation period affected your day to day responsibilities? Yeah. So, you know, it, it started, you know, in, in early March where, you know, we had to close our, our building down to keep everyone safe. And then all of the different states in our country uh, went to shelter at home. Um, but, you know, that, that was right when we were preparing for the NFL draft. And uh, we, we had to immediately change our approach of getting information on all the college players uh, because we couldn't see them anymore. We couldn't, uh, they couldn't have pro days. We couldn't examine them for a second time. We couldn't bring them into our facility. So, so we had to get creative. And we did things like this. We did it virtually. We had virtual uh, telemedicine visits and uh, had them record video, uh, different workouts, and uh, take that to establish grades uh, for Rick Spielman, the personnel department, Coach Zimmer, and uh, get ready for the NFL draft, uh, as well as taking care of our current athletes, the guys that were injured. Uh, we had to figure out a way to continue to rehab them in a way that was safe and socially distant. So it was very challenging and uh, we had to be creative and uh, adapt. How are you and your staff able to, you know, monitor and treat players virtually this off season? Yeah. So, you know, the, the virtual stuff is, is just a matter of staying in communication with it, with the guys and uh, you do it through text, you do it through FaceTime, uh, do it through team meetings now that we're having our virtual training, uh, which started uh, about a month ago. And, uh, you know, we do have a few players that come into the facility to rehab. Uh, current guys that are injured are allowed. So, you know, we, we spread that out so that there's very uh, uh, small points of contact. And obviously we're socially distant. We wear gloves, we have face coverings, and uh, we take temperature before we come in the building and uh, stay safe. Well, now that all the phases are starting to be implemented, you know, across the nation now, so how, how are you and your staff preparing for a return to uh, the Twin Cities Orthopedics Performance Center? Yeah, you know, we're, we're following uh, the NFL's guidelines. We're following the uh, CDC guidelines. And, and it's our job to, to make sure, you know, the Vikings has a, a COVID committee that is just doing a great job uh, to make sure that uh, our employees uh, and players and coaches and everyone is safe. Uh, when they come back to uh, Twin Cities Orthopedics Performance Center. And and it's going to be our new normal. It's going to be very different. Uh, it's going to continue to be challenging. Uh, but we are going to make sure we make every effort to keep everyone safe and healthy. For sure. And lastly, any advice or encouragement for our fans on how to stay active and in shape during this time? Yeah. So, you know, it, it is really important uh, to stay active during this time. It's it's easy. You know, one of the biggest things uh, to watch out for is mental health. You know, it, it's tough when you're quarantined and, and you're trapped uh, in your house. If you're having any issues, reach out for help. There's so many resources out there. But but physically speaking, you know, um, you live in an apartment. It's safe to go outside. You know, take uh, take the precautions that you need. Uh, go for a walk. Uh ride a bike, do the things that you can do to, to stay active uh, each and every day. It's, it's really essential. And on top of that, you know, make sure you get good sleep and make sure you practice proper nutrition. And uh, again, we'll get through this. The future's bright for all of us and, and, and we'll smile again.